Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hoffelenia and this is your Noontime Wrap. Former President Ferdinand Marcos can now be buried at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani or Hero Cemetery. The Supreme Court on Tuesday, November 8, by a vote of 9-5 with one inhibition, rejects all petitions that sought to stop the burial of the late dictator. The following justices voted in favor of giving Marcos a hero's burial. Presbytero Velasco Jr., Teresita de Castro, Arturo Brion, Diostado Peralta, Lucas Bersamin, Mariano del Castillo, Jose Perez, Jose Mendoza, and Estela Perlas Bernabe. Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio, and Associate Justices Marvic Leonen, Francis Hardelesa, and Alfredo Benjamin Cagiwa dissented. Associate Justice Bienvenido Reyes inhibited from the case. President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday, November 7, says he's not running after illegal gambling because he lacks manpower. The problem is I do not have the men na to focus on one uh, area kaya ng droga. Kasi pag nabakante yung network dyan, nature hates vacuum. And somebody will just have to take over the vacuum that you leave. Duterte adds gambling operators will tend to shift to illegal drugs should their illegal gambling business be shut down. Duterte has been criticized for focusing on illegal drugs while ignoring other problems, including illegal gambling. The war on drugs has killed more than 4,700 people since July 1. United States presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump continue to have sharp words for each other as the U.S. election nears its end. Trump says, quote, It's time to fight for America. I'm not a politician, I can say proudly. My only special interest is you. He adds, quote, But the years of betrayal will end. They will end, and they're going to end quickly. They're going to end as of the day we take office, which is going to be very, very soon. Clinton has had a narrow but consistent lead at the polls. She says, quote, Tomorrow we face the test of our time. Will we be coming together as a nation or splitting further apart? Will we set goals that all of us can help meet or will we turn on each other? Some 40 million Americans already cast their ballots in states that allow early voting and tens of millions more will turn out Tuesday, November 8, U.S. time. Voter turnout among African-American and Hispanic voters is surging, which can spell trouble for Trump's White House hopes. Hispanics make up a powerful voting bloc in the battleground state of Florida and are widely expected to lean toward Clinton. Trump earlier described Mexicans as rapists, repeatedly vowed to build a border wall, and promised to deport masses of illegal immigrants. As of Saturday, 565,000 Hispanics voted in person in Florida, a 100% increase over the close of early voting in 2012. South Korean prosecutors Tuesday, November 8, raid Samsung's headquarters as part of a probe into a political scandal involving President Park Geun-hee and her close friend. Media reports suggest Samsung may have funneled as much as $3.1 million to Park's confidant Choi soon Chil to bankroll her daughter's equestrian training in Germany. Choi is under arrest on charges of fraud and abuse of power because of accusations she leveraged her personal friendship with Park to coerce donations from large companies to two nonprofit foundations she set up. Samsung says it will cooperate with any investigation but declined to comment on Tuesday's raid. That's your Noontime Wrap. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Watch us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.